Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, got an 82 Trail Fire 340. Uh, last winter, with the Midwest ride in, I think I lost a crank seal there. Uh, started idling high and then we shut it off. It's really hard to start. So, I got a new gasket kit. And while I'm at it, got new pistons and rings, new wrist pin bearings. Um, so yeah, go through this thing, see what's going on. I've had this probably about nine, ten years. I did put crank seals in it when I first got it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty clean. It's got 2,000 miles. Um, you know, it's not all crusty and rusty over here. Pretty decent shape. I did a Polaris suspension swap on this one too. The rubber track. Uh, replaced the seat cover last winter. So yeah, we'll tear into this one, see what's going on. Drag it to the garage with the King Quad. Got the sled on the lift, save the back a little bit. And uh, I want to mention a fellow YouTuber sent me a couple decals here. I think what I'm doing is putting it right here. So check them out, Pilgrim's Garage. All right, so got our gasket kit, got pistons and rings. Got wrist pin bearings. Got these O-rings for the crankshaft. You'll see what those, how those go on. And I do have some crank bearings in case I need them. I've never done this before, so um, I don't know. We'll see. So that's the goodies. Uh, first thing first, we'll get this clutch cover off. There's a couple 7 16 nuts here. Then we'll get this clutch off, get the air box and carb off, get this shroud off, and we'll uh, get this engine out of here. All right, go ahead and get this belt off. Okay, so a couple years ago, I bought this half inch drive electric impact uh, for a stubborn flywheel I was dealing with. And this thing zipped it right off. So we're gonna use this to get this clutch off and I'll leave a, a link in the description for, uh, for this unit. 8.5 amp, half inch impact. This thing is awesome. Uh, 19 millimeter socket too. All right, so now get our clutch pull around here. All right, there's our clutch puller. So that looks like Let's thread it in there. And there's the clutch. Broke it free pretty easy. All right, we'll go ahead and get that out of there. All right, up next, we'll go ahead and get this air box and carb off. Um, I found it easier get this rubber elbow off first and then sneak the air box out and then you can get the carburetor off. All 
All right, up next, there's some electrical connections here. Just unplug that. And you got your pulse line from the crankcase. Take that off. Might have to grab a pliers for that, but your pulse line's right, right there. It's just a rubber hose, get that off. And then grab a pliers. Okay, got the fan shroud off, and there's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the recoil on, so get that off now. And uh, make sure you subscribe too, this will be part one, so uh, I don't know how many videos this will end up being, but uh yeah if you want to follow along on this process uh hit subscribe all right we'll go ahead and get this recoil off all right recoils off just set off to the side there and there's three bolts i think i said four but there's three for that and just took these exhaust springs off they do make a tool for this but i don't have one i just use the pliers and pull up on them and we're going to try to see if we can leave the muffler in and just kind of sneak the engine out. So it looks like everything is disconnected. So up next, there's these four lock nuts here. And then these two right there. And that holds the engine plate on. So I'll go ahead and get those off. All right, so this is a 9 16 socket. And I'm gonna have to get a socket on the back side here because I can feel it turning underneath. So, um, so we'll do that for these front ones. And then if I remember right, for these back ones, it, they're on a plate so they won't turn on you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't really see under there, but I think that's the case. It's like a, there's two studs on a plate so those won't turn on you. All right, we'll go ahead and get these out. All right, so we got all these nuts out and these two on the back are on a, a plate, but the problem I'm running into is I have a different, I have a player skid on here with the 0.88 skidoo track, skidoo driver, so it's a little bit thick. So that plate is going up against the track not allowing me to get this out of here see it's hitting right here and there's just not enough clearance for me to get this out of here so i'm kind of fighting it a little bit and then i noticed this so the crank the crank seal looks good and dry right here but this here i almost wonder if this base gasket is the culprit of my issues um so i guess we'll find out once we get this thing out of here so if you're if you're a trail fire stock you won't run into this issue um it's just going to take me a little bit extra time to get this out of here so uh all right we'll we'll get this out all right so it wasn't as bad as i thought it would be i just took a a small screwdriver and poked these studs through and uh the motor is now free so looks like we got the headlight harness that sneaks between the motor and the plate here so hopefully there's enough room to get that by uh so we'll get this engine out and we'll get it on this we'll clear out all this crap from the table here we'll get on the table uh this project will have to wait till end of snow season because i want to get this thing wrapped up so yeah, let's get this engine over here and start tearing it, tearing into it. Okay, got the bench cleared off. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this plate off. It's a 19 millimeter. So here's our 
a closer look. Pretty oily. And like I said, this crank still looks dry. Maybe the mag side seal is shot. Who knows? We'll find out. Case on this side is dry. Alright guys, I think we're going to call it a day for this. Got the engine out. That was the main goal for today. Uh, on the next video, we'll start tearing this thing down. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.